To get a better understanding of music, let's take a look at the musical alphabet. Unlike the regular alphabet, the musical alphabet ranges from A to G, but we also need to consider what are called accidentals or sharps, which look like hashtags or tic-tac-toe signs. Every natural note, A, B, C, D, E, and F, and G, they all have a corresponding sharp, except between the notes B and C and between E and F. So if we lay the natural notes in a circular format, then we can add the sharps and flats. At the bottom right, you'll see that certain sharps are equal to certain flats. In music, it depends on the direction a song is moving up or down the scale, whether the note or chord will take the name of a sharp or a flat. This is a formality in music, but for our purposes, we won't linger on this too much. Next, we'll use a fretboard showing the layout of the C major scale. This position is known as the G pattern, but that isn't really important for this video. If you were to move from one note, let's say A, to another note two frets away, and let's just call that B, that is considered a whole step because we are bypassing the A sharp or B flat on the fret between A and B. If, however, you move from the B note to the C note, there are no sharps or flats in between these two notes. You are only moving one fret, which is a half step. Now let's use this blank fretboard of 12 frets. And remember, we are in standard tuning, so from the left to the right, the strings are E, A, D, G, B, and E, the open strings. Now let's choose the A string. On the A string, we're going to randomly pick fret 5. If you don't know what note fret 5 on the A string is, we'll use the circle to count up the scale. Starting on A as the open string, or 0, we go to the first fret, which is A sharp or B flat, then fret 2, which is B, then the third fret, which is C, the fourth fret is C sharp or D flat, and then we're on fret 5. Fret 5 on the A string is a D. Now let's try that one more time. This time on the G string, let's figure out what note fret 4 is. Starting on the G string as 0, fret 1 is G sharp or A flat, fret 2 is A, fret 3 is A sharp or B flat, and fret 4 is B. This is a great way to help yourself learn the notes of the fretboard. I suggest to start with the first five frets of all six strings and just kind of get familiar with the sound as well as the notes that each of those sounds represent. You can refer back to this video anytime you need a refresher.